Ups. for joining me here in the Toyota Supra for our first drive. So without further ado, heading out, let's, uh, let's see what this thing's made of. So as I said before, my next sort of few months are gonna be sort of, you know, narrowing down the car I wanna buy from 10 different options. Uh, Toyota Supra being the first first one of, uh, of 10 that we're gonna experience, we're gonna drive, we're gonna review, and then we're gonna make a decision whether it should be a, be a car on the channel or not. So today's just gonna be my thoughts and reviews on, uh, on the vehicle, what I, what I think. Uh, so first thing I notice, when I first get into the car is the car is extremely, extremely small. The cockpit is tight. Um, you you really feel you're like you're in a sort of, you know, a, a cockpit. You really feel sort of, you know, tight in the in, in a smaller car that's sort of surrounding you. Visibility, very, very narrow compared to my Infiniti. My Infiniti was very wide open. Um, there wasn't this huge, huge A-pillar here. Uh, both sides, huge blind spot. Um, and I just, I just really feel a little bit more sort of cramped um, in here, which is not the end of the world. You know, it, it is what it is. It's a, you know, it's a two-door little sports car, um, but definitely, you know, a little bit cramped, and the visibility being a big one. Um, so for me, you know, a sports car, my next sports car, I want to tick, you know, some of the boxes. You know, comfort, quality. Uh, styling um, and then performance obviously um, so getting into this car coming from my infinity my infinity was you know pretty pretty comfortable not too bad all things considered it's a, it's a little two-door sports car um, quality and uh, and sort of build quality were, were are pretty good infinity does a pretty good job uh, performance not not so not so you know, not so great, average, I would say, above average. Uh, getting into this car, I ask myself the same sort of questions. You know, does this does this car tick the quality box? Okay, it's, you know, it's under the skin, it's a BMW, so, you know, the quality is fairly decent, not too bad for this price point, for a $45,000, $50,000 car. Um, so you're kind of half tick ticking the box, it's all right, all right? Um, styling. I think the styling of this car is really, really nice. The one downside to this thing that I find is that there's a lot of fake vents, a lot of fake vents. And if you watch my, my video, um, which will be in the link um, in the description, sorry, you'll see my review on the whole car and the, the full detailed sort of wraparound. Um, and you'll see all the, the non-functional vents. And to me, when you're trying to buy a performance vehicle, that's that's a huge, huge turnoff. Uh, so, big downside to that. Uh, that being said, the styling of the car, you know, all the all the vents, the, the vents, even though they aren't functional, they look really nice. They look really nice. Um, so take it for what it is. If you're in it for just the the look of it, great, looks awesome. If you're in it for performance and you really want some good performance numbers doesn't really do it for me. Under the hood, we're looking at a two liter uh, twin scroll single single turbo. Um, this car pushes about 255 horsepower, uh, 285, uh, 285 foot pounds of torque. Uh, there are four different trim levels. The two above this are a 3.0 uh, liter uh, single, to, uh, single turbo V6. Uh, with quite a bit more horsepower. I think we're talking 380, 386, I think. 
386 might be the torque. Let me let me give you the exact numbers. 350 horsepower, 386 torque um, with a V6, um, and just I think the fit and finishing is a little bit better in the in the two levels up. Uh, nicer rims, bigger wheels. Um, obviously the V6, so you're getting a different sound, a little bit more. Uh, I'd say throw to your sound. This is a four cylinder, right? Um, and then there's an A91 special edition model that just has a bunch of carbon fiber sort of trim and stuff like that in it, um, which is the one I would go for because it, it just it's just a little bit better, a little bit of weight savings and uh, just a little bit more special. You know, I want the car to feel sort of special when I when I get into it and. You know, if the horsepower is down the way it is, you know, if it's a four-cylinder, um, you know, if it's got all this non-functional vintage going on, it, it has that lackluster sort of feeling to it. So, off the top of my, my sort of initial thoughts, that's sort of what I, where I'm going with it. Um, just doesn't have that, like, wow sort of factor for me when you get into, a, you know, an M4 or a C63 you know, one of those products where you're just like, whoa, this is like, this is something special, I can tell right away. Um, so that being said, I mean, this four cylinder, it's very, very peppy. Um, you know, this is the first, first time I've ever driven a four cylinder. And I'm, you know, I'm the guy who's always like, you know, a four cylinder sounds like a freaking blow dryer. It's, you know, it's awful. Never give it the time of day. But you throw a turbocharged engine into the mix and a, a bunch of torque, and you know the car actually goes. It's got a bit of it's got a bit of bite to it. Um, just in addition to that, it's it's you know if you can get on the manual sort of paddle shifters and, and really get her going, you hear a few little pops and bangs, but really not not what I'm what I'm sort of after. I would love a lot more of the of the pops and bangs. That that's really kind of like what creates that the experience of the car for me. I find. Um, and I just don't think there's there's enough of it. Um, yeah. So again, that being said, you know the vehicle first first impressions style pretty good. You know it, it it's a cool car. It's a it's a bit of a rare car for whatever reason. You know there's not a lot of them around. So you know a lot of people that go by you will you know have a look at it. Um, I think people that that are in the know kind of know that the car is a little bit underpowered and it's it's a little bit lackluster. Um, so you know, take it take it for what it is. Um, in terms of the fit and finish, as we as we spoke, it's you know it's pretty nice BMW, not too bad. Um, so I'm just gonna get around a couple of these corners and you know see how she handles and stuff like that. Um, but the car has been you know after driving it for about a day today, it's it's pretty similar to to my Infinity. It's, you know, it handles all right. It's not spectacular. It, it kind of does everything like pretty good. You know what I mean? It's not C63 performance, but it's not Honda Civic performance. It's kind of like, you know, above average. Um, so, you know, that, that being said, I mean, it's it's pretty good. I mean, if you're looking for a, a peppy little sports car that's, you know, that's not an AMG, you don't have AMG, you know, RS, um, Audi sort of motorsport M BMW money. I think this is a really, really sort of good, good option for you to look at um, in the sort of forty-five to sort of fifty-five thousand dollar price range. Um, I think you can pick these up brand new for you know anywhere between. I think forty-four is the base model, fifty-five being the the, the top of the line. Um, so yeah, I mean, again, these are my initial thoughts. Is the car right for me? I think it's a great car. I think it's awesome. I'm I'm after a little bit more of an of an experience when I get in my uh, vehicle. You know, some more pops and bangs. You know, you know, a bigger displacement. So potentially a V6 or you know even a V8 in the C63. We'll see. Um, but just just more of that that sort of that that growl when I'm when I'm driving. Um, and this kind of doesn't do it for me. It's a fun little sort of weekend toy, um, but just just not really kind of what I'm after. Um, and I can kind of see why it didn't really sort of sell the way I think it I think it was meant to sell. Um, 
it's just kind of like, it's just a kind of like, uh, kind of car. Um, sorry, I'm just fixing my, fixing my light. Um, so yeah, those are my initial thoughts. Um, you know, I'm gonna be coming with a bunch more new cars in the next little while. My goal is to is to try out as many of my 10 vehicles, and I don't want to tell you what the 10 vehicles are because I they, it's a bit of a secret. But they're all they're all badass vehicles in their own right. Uh, my goal is to to try out the 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 10 vehicles, you know, one after the other, um, and just really get a feel of of what's out there in terms of the the market. You know, this is a four-cylinder. I'd like to try V8. I want to try the M6, or excuse me, the M4, um, and just really see what's out there, and, and uh, be, before making a, a sort of decision. Um, and in saying that, I'm, I'm going to try and bring to you as much content as I can uh, in the meantime, uh, and hopefully you guys get sort of excited about it. Um, so I'd love you guys to follow along. Uh, like and subscribe more importantly subscribe because it really really helps me grow the channel I'm really trying to grow the channel right now um, and eventually when I bring when I do bring that new car to the channel I'm gonna be doing a ton with it you know lots of exhaust sort of stuff done to it lots of different mods um, that's kind of the game plan as of now I'm really gonna start start pumping it out um, so let me know in the description guys what do you think of this car would you buy a Toyota Supra, would you buy the, the sort of 2.0 trim level? Would you go for the bigger trim level? You know, is this is this your dream car? Is this a car that you wouldn't touch? Let me know what you guys think about it um, and why. Have you driven it? Um, another little cool point is, is this car is very, very tunable. Um, it's obviously a Japanese product, so, you know, there's tons of different little things you can get for it. You know, if you put a little tune on this car, you could get it up no problem you know to uh, you know probably another hundred horsepower uh, and a bunch more torque so this is th that's sort of the allure of think of this vehicle is that it definitely has a lot of potential to to really turn it into a bit of a beast um but i but i think you need the v6 uh three liter um as your sort of base sort of template. I don't think you can start with it with a little two liter four cylinder because you're just not going to get enough out of the car. The potential is far greater in the in the bigger sort of vehicle, you know, the, the premium package. Um, so that's kind of the way I would uh, I would go. Um, in terms of sort of, you know, handling and stuff like that, it, it the steering feels pretty light. Again, it doesn't, I go back to my sort of just ordinary sort of average above average sort of feeling this car it doesn't give me that sort of Porsche like handling on rails um, sort of vibe it, it, it doesn't give me that like that real sort of in control of the car high level sort of stuff it's just it's just pretty good which you know if that's what you're after you know then you know that's good enough for a lot of people that's good enough the car I wouldn't say handles poorly um, but uh, it's, it's just not like, you know, unbelievable performance. So um, I drove the car in, in comfort mode for the first like two hours and then realized the sport mode was on. And from that moment on, the sport mode stays on. Even though it's, you know, it's a four cylinder, you still get quite a bit more sort of growl out of it. It really opens things up, you know, for, for what it is. It's still a four cylinder, so take it for what it is. Um, the other thing is if you, if you give the shifter a little bump to the left side you're in in manual and i think if you're buying this car you're after it for an, an experience right you're not after it for a sunday little cruise so you know personally i'm in the manual sort of transmission just about the whole time uh, up and down on the shifters really trying to get you know this guy trying to race me you kidding me a little bit of shit there and uh let's just say that that honda accords in my dust so again four cylinder it can eat up pretty much anything on the road there's there's i don't want to say anything but it can pretty much eat up any honda product you know all the basic sort of vehicles this thing has no trouble with so 
Um, you know, is it a good sort of option? I'd say yeah, for the for the price, you know, that it's coming in at, I think it's definitely a sort of a good car. Um, good transmission, eight speed transmission. Um, you know, if you're driving it in the normal sort of drive mode, it's, you know, it shifts pretty nicely for you. Not a lot of lag. Um, again, it's got the BMW sort of infotainment system, so everything is pretty, you know, every, the, the front display here is digital. Everything is pretty good. Um, so yeah, I mean, final thoughts. Pretty impressed with the car. Um, you know, styling got me really, really excited about it. It's a bit of a rare car. So when people do see the car, they get a little bit pumped about it. Um, but that's kind of where it ends. You know what I mean? They're not like, whoa, performance, like, look out, that thing's like badass. Um, it kind of just ends with the, with the styling of it. Um, so, again, you know, there's going to be a huge niche of people that, that would buy this car. Um, and I, I do recommend it. I think it's a great car. Um, if you do have the money, I, I would go for an M4 product, um, an AMG product, first and foremost. I mean, if you watch this channel enough, you know that I'm a big AMG fan. Um, so, personally, if you've got the cash, that's that's the way to go personally for me um, just for for more of an experience um, but to each his own right this is a this is a hot little car it's it's in nitro yellow um, you know so it catches the eye um, you know if you're a young sort of punk just getting a little bit of money and you, you know you want a vehicle that sort of you know makes you good with the girls and you know and gets gets a few eyes looking at you I think this is this is the car. If you're in it, you know, in for something a little bit more sophisticated, a little more high level, um, I think my recommendation is to look at a, you know, an M4 or I shouldn't say an M4, just an M product or, or a, an AMG product. So, uh, final thoughts: great car. This obviously won't be the car that I'm going to be buying, um, but I'm very very happy that I had an opportunity to drive it. Um, I want to thank Jeffrey, uh, buddy of mine. Um, for letting me have a go with the vehicle. Um, I'm gonna link his YouTube channel below. Uh, he was really good at sort of throwing me the keys and let me uh, sort of do my thing, live with this vehicle for a couple days. Uh, so I really, really appreciate that. Uh, stay tuned guys. Next vehicle's coming really, really soon and it's gonna be a hot one. No more of this four cylinder uh, to a single turbo sort of stuff. We're getting into the real deal. So. Uh, again, please subscribe, follow the channel, guys. It really, really helps me a lot. Uh, really trying to get to that sort of 1,000 subscribership uh, level. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Take it easy, bye. All right, guys, so just wanted to do a few uh, final thoughts on the car. Uh, today is the day I gotta give it back. I uh, wanted to say a big thank you to Jeff uh, and Toyota just for giving me an you know, opportunity to experience the vehicle. Uh, had a lot of fun with it, you know, got to experience it, got to um, sort of enjoy it for, you know, all that it has to offer uh, for the last couple of days, um, you know, so thanks a lot. Really, really appreciate it. Um, again, you guys, if you follow my my sort of review, the last video, and my my sort of, you know, first drive of the car, this video, um, you kind of got my, my sort of, you know, my take on the car. Um, to sum it up, great car, really, really good car. You know, great for sort of kicking around the city, you know, secondary sort of Sunday driver, little sports car. Um, not for me though. I um, feel like it's a little bit underpowered, a little bit lackluster um, for what I kind of expected it to be. Obviously, you know, I realize that this is the smaller trim level, but just wanted a little bit more out of it, a little bit more of the cracks and bangs and more of the experience. That being said, you know, total fun, total enjoyment. I'm glad that I can say now that I've that I've that I've tried the Toyota Supra, um, and, you know, and kind of cataloged it and, and added it to um, you know my my list of experiences. All right, um, I guess kind of on to the next one. Uh, let's move on. Something bigger, something better. Uh, keep pressing forward to that uh, that next vehicle, which is coming real soon. Um, guys, if you're enjoying the channel, please subscribe. Uh, please like. Please comment. Get involved. Lots of stuff coming in the next little while. So please, please subscribe.